Hey, what's going on, people? Cheyenne Bostock here. You already know what time it is. It's Free Advice Wednesday. Y'all send me the questions, and I give you the answers that's going to help you in life, love, and relationships. And I got these lights going crazy in the background because it's an emergency that I get you this information, and I'm going to give it to you right now. Okay, so this week we're going to be talking about a topic that has been very popular for a long time. I believe Jasmine Sullivan recently made a song about this. You hear women complaining about this all the time, and it's hoes be winning. Now, I want to ask you a question. Are hoes really winning? Is it the actual hoe that's winning, or is it the behavior that they're exhibiting that's getting the man to respond. And I wanna break this down for you in this video, how you can exhibit some of that behavior to get a guy to respond the way you want him to. So as you all know, I've written a book called Food, Sex, and Peace of Mind, What a Woman Needs to Know to Keep a Man. And in that book, I break down the key strategies that a single woman must exhibit in order to get and keep the guy's attention. See, this is the difference between the average woman and the hoes or the strippers. And I wanna go ahead and stop calling them hoes and start calling them strategists because that's exactly what they are. They understand what a man wants and they give it to him in exchange for something that they want. Now, some of y'all might call that a hoe. I call that a genius because that's what relationships are all about. It's an exchange of value. That's why I titled my book, Food, Sex, and Peace of Mind, What a Woman Needs to Know to Keep a Man. You see, there's women who are currently single in relationships or even married, and they have absolutely no clue how to please their own man, the man that they want to spend the rest of their life with them. Why would a man want to spend the rest of his life with someone who doesn't understand him, who doesn't know how to please him? As a matter of fact, if you haven't seen P Valley, go watch that special. I believe it's on Stars, And it'll showcase strippers in a strip club and the behavior of the men that frequent the strip club. These men are going there for an experience. The reason why they're going there for an experience is because they're not getting the experience at home. So the woman at home, she might be thinking, well, why do you keep going to that dirty place? Why do you keep going to that nasty place? Meanwhile, the husband is probably asking himself, why don't you treat me the way these women do? These women cater to me. They treat me like I'm special. They make me feel good. And that's what a man wants every single day. And what's happening is he's so desperate for that attention. He's so deprived of it that he's even willing to pay for it. Imagine that. You have a man at home, you're in a relationship with him, or you're married to him, and he's taking his hard-earned money, leaving you to go and pay for an experience somewhere else. That's worth exploring. If you don't have a man who's rushing home to be with you, to get an experience, chances are you're not offering that experience. So it has nothing to do with a woman being a hoe. It's the behavior that the man is responding to that he likes. And sometimes a man is ashamed to admit that he likes it because of society, societal norms. Sometimes it's he's afraid that he's gonna hurt your feelings if he expresses some type of deep interest or desire in these sexual beings. And the other thing is, sometimes he hasn't yet realized this about himself, that there's this strong sexual desire, this strong longing for sexual attention from a beautiful, sexy, highly desirable woman. And you ladies have to be that woman. So if you're not doing sexually exciting things, if you're not sexually desirable, if this man isn't craving you because you're just so physically and sexually attractive, you're gonna have a hard time getting his attention and even keeping 
his attention. And I was just recently talking about this on Twitter the other day about Lizzo, how she's an amazing artist, a great performer, but she's clearly obese. Now, I'm sure there are men out there who love obese women, love women with a little uh, something to grab onto. But the fact of the matter is most high quality, high value men are not gonna be checking for a woman in that condition because it's a health condition. She's not taking care of herself. If she's not taking care of herself, how in the hell could she take care of him? How could she take care of a baby? How can she take care of a house and a family and all of these different things that she's not taking care of herself? Maybe she can, but the point is she's not evidencing it. She's not convincing enough for a man to believe, oh, this is the woman I should trust with my life. So what do men look for when we want sex? Oh, we're looking for the woman who comes from the top of the pole and comes all the way down to the bottom. But when it comes to marriage, we want the girl next door. Now, if that girl next door can figure out how to climb up that pole and come down to the bottom, good Lord, she's a keeper. Now, that's all I got for y'all for this free advice Wednesday. Y'all be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this post with someone that you care about. I will see y'all next week. If you're a single woman who's looking to attract her ideal mate, click the link below to apply to join my coaching program where I help single women just like you to strategize and attract their ideal mate. Click the link below or go to CheyenneBostock.com slash coaching.